Unsurprisingly, this caused a lot of backlash from a lot of people. So Sora 2 is trained on pretty much everything, from everyday objects to things like Batman and, and for IP in the film and character world. So what OpenAI did originally was that they said everyone had to opt out of having their IP used within the app. Unsurprisingly, this caused a lot of backlash from a lot of people. They quickly did a U-turn and said, instead of having to opt out if you want the IP used, people decided if they wanted to opt in instead. But this was just a matter of having and some guardrails and some permissions for when users are trying to generate video. On the other side, you've got Ed Olbrich and the team at Moon Valley. Their approach is basically the opposite. Their model isn't trained on any IP at all. So if you ask their model to create a Batman, it just wouldn't know where to start on it because it wasn't trained on it in the first place, which is very different to what OpenAI's view on this is. So if you're just typing away and you wanted to generate some sort of superhero that has got a black cape, got like Batman sort of characteristics, you're probably going to get some Something that's pretty close or resemblant of Batman. It's a bit like someone telling you a secret, even though you're not going to say it out loud, you can still drop the little hints. Compared to someone who's never been told a secret at all, there's nothing to leak. So even if Sora says we're not going to let anyone use any of the copyrights, it still has a greater understanding of what a superhero might look like due to it being trained on all these different IPs, even though it's not letting you actually create the intellectual property itself.